Welcome to another episode of the Founders Lounge. I am Peter Ellis and I'm really excited to chat with the founder of the world's biggest garage sale, who I have actually known for quite a few years. My aim for today is to extract your story. Sports equipment back home. It was a little bit crazy because, um, you know, I've got no background, like background in development and aid or anything like that. I just had this crazy, intense um, fire to do something and I had no idea what I was doing but I just did it (laughs) this is where the best ideas come from and she's at that start or the end of the start who is a dual world record holder to pull together the pieces that they need so they can make the impact they want to make what sustains somebody like bloom is a fintech company with a climate impact mission so our uh, goal is to make climate impact investing easy and accessible. It was absolutely the right road to take. Mm. But I would love yeah. you to unpack yeah. that as a strategy. Of course that was going to be massive. And plus I wanted it to sound bold and big and brilliant. But, it, yeah, so it, that's been a recurring theme in my <laughs> <laughs> Look at me over here. I'm very happy to see <laughs> evidence proof that you can take a very different path beyond a professional um, athletic career if you try to turn your passions into your businesses then you'll end up killing the passion because it does become hard work i have unwavering faith Mm. laser laser focus and extraordinary effort so i love this i love that (laughs) i think this is the three things i'm I'm writing it down (laughs) i continuously need to grow so that faith needs to always grow stronger and how I got into business in the first place with a an ambitious high growth business model Mm -hmm. comes the reality of never being quite the full person able to deliver (laughs) what you want to deliver because I'm did we surrounded with other people who own businesses did you get those conversations I have a book that I want to write or a couple of books around all of that stuff. As an entrepreneur, I'm very much a product of. I'm going to wrap it up when it's time. I, I was in that space like, oh, for so long. I was like, I could have just wrapped it up and moved on to the next thing. And I think that that's uh, just learning how to do that. I mean, I don't know how many URLs I bought, but I, I didn't want to have hard conversations at that point either, which I should have had in the, in, in the beginning. I had been developing this sort of appetite for adventure. It's not being afraid of your power. Mm. Like not being afraid to reach out to somebody and tell them your story. You just dive in, you do your thing, but there probably should have maybe been some structure. (laughs) What I learned there was I could not leave the people. The panel format was important and I wanted that to continue. Everyone's always sitting on something that's just about to take off. But I will (laughs) remind you that it's not actually what you're sitting on, it's you. So you are about to take off and it is actually you who's the secret source and you will always learn something new. So thank you for listening once again to this episode.